In this video, we're going to be going over how to solve the system of a linear equation using substitution. So in our first example, we have 2x plus 2y equals 10, and y equals 5 plus x. Notice here that the y is by itself, which is going to allow us to take this 5 plus x and input it, substitute it in for that y there. So what we'll be doing is we'll be taking 2x plus 2 times and in this place right here, we'll be putting our 5 plus x, because that's what it said y equaled. Now we're going to finish solving. So we'll distribute our 2, which will give us 2x plus 10 plus 2x equals 10. We'll combine our like terms, giving us 4x plus 10 equals 10. And now we're going to solve for x. So we'll subtract 10 from both sides, giving us 4x equals 0. Divide both sides by 4 to get x equals 0. So now we need to plug this back in to get our y value. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that in to our second equation right here. So we're going to take our y equals 5 plus x, and we're going to take out the x, and we're going to put in that 0 that we just got. And that's going to tell us that y equals 5, which is going to give us a solution set of 0, 5. So now we just need to check this. So in order to check it, we're going to plug this ordered pair back into both equations. So we're going to have our 2x plus 2y equals 10 and our y equals 5 plus x. And so again, this is what we're doing to check it. So we're going to replace our x and our y with the 0 and the 5 that we got. And then we're going to work this side out and we're going to see that they match. So that's good. We're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to have our 5 equals 5 plus 0, which again gives us a 5 equals 5. So that works. So that tells us that 0, comma 5 is in fact our solution. So we'll go ahead and we'll write that down or box it so that it can be seen. So we've got a box, so we're good. So let's take a look at part B. Here we have 2x minus y equals 3 and x equals negative 2y minus 1. So here we see that x is by itself, which is going to allow us to take this negative 2y minus 1 and plug it in for our x right there. And so we can go ahead and do that. So we're going to have 2 times our x minus y equals 3, and we're going to plug in that negative 2y minus 1. Then we're going to solve for y. So we're going to distribute. That's going to give us a negative 4y minus 2 minus y equals 3. We'll combine our like terms to get negative 5y minus 2 equals 3. And here we'll solve for y. So we'll add 2 to both sides. So negative 5y equals 5. Divide by a negative 5 gives us y equals negative 1. And now we're going to plug that to our second equation. It's probably going to be the easiest one. So we're going to take our x equals negative 2y minus 1. And we're going to take the y out, and instead, we're going to put in that negative 1 that we just got. So when we work that out, we're going to get a positive 1 here. So we're looking at the solution 0, oh, excuse me, 1, comma, negative 1. So now we need to check to make sure that it was correct. So we're going to check our solution by plugging in 1, comma, negative 1 into our two equations. So we're going to plug those in. So we will remove the x and remove the y and put in our 1 and our negative 1. So when we plug this in here, we get an answer of 3, which works. And over here, we'll go ahead and we'll plug in our x and our y there and see that here we get a 1 and those match. And so we see that we have a solution of 1 comma negative 1 there. All right, let's move on to problem C. So for problem C, we have x equals y. So notice that the x and the y are technically by themselves, so we can plug in whichever one we, we want. I'm going to go ahead, and because the x is on the left, we're going to replace the x in our top equation with the y. So we're going to rewrite as see, x minus 3y equals negative 1. So we're going to put in the y there. So we're going to combine our like terms to get negative 4y equals negative 1. We'll divide both sides by negative 4 
and get y equals 1 fourth. And it's okay that we got a fraction. It's not a big deal. We're simply just going to go ahead and plug that into our second equation, which is x equals y. So this makes this pretty easy. So when we take out the y and we put in the 1 fourth, we have what x is as well. So here we're looking at the solution 1 fourth comma 1 fourth. And now we just need to check that. So we're going to check that by plugging it back in. And we can use our calculator to help us check this with the fractions so that that way we don't feel too overwhelmed. So we're going to go ahead and take out our x and put a 1 fourth there. Minus 3 times, so we're going to put a 1 fourth there. And see if that equals a negative 1. And when we plug this into our calculator, we do in fact get a negative 1. Actually, no we don't. We get something different. We get a 1 half. Let's see what's going on here. Let's take a look back at our answers. Oh, we made a mistake way up here when we were combining our like terms. So because we're looking for a solution, that tells us that we did something wrong. So if we come back, way back up here, we should have a negative 2y equals a negative 1. So we divide by negative 2, and we're going to get a 1 half. So now when we plug that in, to our second equation, we'll get a one half and a one half. So let's try and let's check these ones and let's see if these check out. So that's why it's important to make sure you're checking your work because it tells you if you've done something right or if you've done something wrong. All right, so now we'll plug in that one half minus three times one half and see if we get a negative one. So when we plug that in, that is going to give us a 1 half minus a 3 halves, which is a negative 1. So that time it worked. And then over here we're going to have, see we're plugging in our 1 half and our 1 half, and that works. So perfect. So now we have the solution to that system as well. So that's how you can solve the system of a linear equation using substitution.